Hey everybody, it's Anna and welcome back to my booktube channel. This video is going to be me doing the end of the year book tag with some slightly modified questions as I think it is more geared towards doing it in the autumn and I am now filming this on December 1st. This tag was originally created by Ariel Bissett who I will link down below and let's go ahead and get into the questions. So the first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Yes, always mostly because I want to finish the books that I'm currently reading. Um, in addition to my TBR for the Queer Lit Readathon, which I am currently co-hosting at the time I'm filming this video, I also want to finish reading The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden, which is her conclusion to the Winter Night trilogy. I've been waiting for this to come out in paperback, and then after it finally did, I waited to read it because I really wanted to read it in the winter because... Winter of the Witch. I've read all of the other books in the series in winter. They're super atmospheric, super evocative of this time of the year, and I just wanted to uh, complete the tradition by reading this one in the winter. And I am also currently reading on my Kindle a book called When They Call You a Terrorist, a Black Lives Matter memoir by Patrice Cullors, I believe is the last name. Um, and that one I'm reading very slowly because the subject matter is really intense and so I'm taking breaks as I go through it so I'm making my way through that slowly but surely and I would like to have that finished by the end of the year because it is a really excellent book. Okay, the next question is do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? So I did make a uh, cozy, somewhat spooky autumnal TBR video a little while ago, but since it's now December, I'm not really reading autumnal books anymore. I'm reading The Winter of the Witch as my like atmospheric seasonal book because, again, like I said, it is very evocative of wintertime and sort of scary stories to tell around a warm winter's fire. Okay, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Not one that comes out at the end of this year. Um, obviously, if I had made this a couple months ago, I probably would have included The Queen of Nothing, which is the conclusion to the Cruel Prince uh, trilogy by Holly Black. I probably would have included The Toll by Neil Shusterman. Um, and then what is the last book called? The Warrior Moon by K. Arsenal Rivera, which is uh, the next book in that series of The Tiger's Daughter. But since I'm filming this in winter, those books have all come out, and I am now looking forward to spring releases. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? Okay, so again, in addition to my Queer Lit Readathon TBR, in no particular order, here are the three books that I want to read. Okay, the first book that I want to read before the year ends is also the book that's been on my TBR for the longest. It's called The Light Between Worlds, and it is a YA portal fantasy novel by Laura E. Weymouth. If I don't read this by the end of the year, I'm unhauling it because I remember being really excited for it when I got it, but it's now been like almost two years that I've had this book, and if I haven't read it after two years, I'm probably never going to. So I have 30 days to read this book or else it's done. Next is for something that you're going to see coming up on my channel, which is my next installment in the Year of Reading Romantically series, which is a series where I read and talk about romance novels. I'm reading a novella called Hearts Alight by Elliot Cooper. This is a Hanukkah romance novella, and all I know is that the love interests are a human boy and also a golem, and the golem is one of my favorite figures in Jewish mythology, so that's going to be fun. Also, it's short. I can definitely read this by the end of this year. And then the last book that I want to finish reading this year is for the romance book club that I joined, so you will also be hearing about it in another Reading Romantically episode, and that is The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams. The sound of this is great, I just want to read you the description on the back because it sounds absolutely great. The first rule of book club, you don't talk about book club. Nashville legend's second baseman Gavin Scott's marriage is in major league trouble. He's recently discovered a humiliating secret, his wife, Thea, has always faked the big O. Girl, let me put a pin in that. When he loses his cool at the revelation, it's the final straw in their already strained relationship. Thea asks for a divorce, and Gavin realizes he's let his pride and fear get the better of him. Welcome to the Bromance Book Club. Distraught and desperate, Gavin finds help from an unlikely source, a secret romance book club made up of Nashville's top alpha men. With the help of their current read, a steamy Regency novel titled Courting the Countess, the guys coach, ca coach Gavin on saving his marriage. But it'll take a lot more than flowery words and grand gestures for this hapless Romeo to find his inner hero and win back the trust of his wife. 
As somebody that is new to the romance genre, I am really excited to be reading a book about someone else who is also new to the romance genre, who also, like myself, likes reading books to learn how to do things and be better at things. That just seems like it was possibly written for me, and it sounds really adorable, and also, I like the booty with the book in the butt cover. Or in the butt pocket. I like the... <laughs> I like the booty with the book in the butt pocket. This is a new tongue twister. Okay, those are all the books that I need to read before the end of the year. Uh, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? <sighs> Maybe? I, I don't think I have anything that's jumping out at me off the top of my head that I'm like, yes, this. I've been waiting for this. I know it's going to be amazing. It's always possible, but right now I don't see anything that's like jumping out that it's going to be my favorite book of the year. And then the final question, have you already started making reading plans for uh, 2020? Yes, I have. So for one thing, I've got my year of reading romantically that I'm working on. Um, I'm pretty sure that there will be uh, some more rounds of readathons that I like, like the Queer Lit Readathon, the Bookie Trials. Um, Aaron and I are planning to do the disability readathon again, I believe, so we're working on that. Uh, specific reading plans, though? Nothing beyond just what I want to do for BookTube and what I want to do for myself. Like, I have a couple new releases coming out that I'm really excited for, like The Night Country by Melissa Albert. Um, you know, a lot of the books that I'm, I'm really, really waiting on are things like the third Patrick Rothfuss book, and I don't think that that's going to come out this coming year. Um, yeah, so nothing, like, more specific than anything that I've already told you on this channel. I feel like I am a big sharer. I tend to announce projects pretty soon after I come up with a way to implement them, so you know what my plans are. You've kind of, you kind of got it if you're watching my channel. So those are all of the questions for the tag. Since this tag was created, or I guess, yeah, this tag was created a while ago and I don't know who all has posted it yet, but if you haven't posted it yet and you would like to, please consider yourself tagged and let me know when you post your own response because I want to watch your videos. As always, thank you all very much for watching. If you'd like to see more of what I do on BookTube, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.